little bus waves and buses out there. So in this video, I'm going to share with you on how I'm sending my invoice to my direct clients. So if you want to learn more about that, just keep on watching. So I always receive this question from you guys na paano ko ba sinesend yung invoice ko sa clients? So I would like you to know na meron akong direct clients and then meron din akong clients from Upwork. I mean, doon na sila nagbabayad sa Upwork. So automatic na si Upwork yung nagsasend ng invoice sa kanila. But for my direct clients, I will share to you kung paano ko siya ginagawa. But before I'm going to dive in, I would like to share what is an invoice. But I'm not gonna share with you the technical definition of it. I will just simplify it na lang. You can google the technical definition of it. But sa simple definition na to, ito yung document na isi-send kay client. Na malalaman niya yung breakdown niya sa overall na babayaran niya. When yung deadline and the likes. So I will also tackle with you mamaya kung ano yung ilalagay sa invoice and the likes. So, sinesend ko siya via email and I will also let you know why, bakit via email. And then, maybe you are asking right now, when are you sending your invoice away? Is it before ba na mag-work ka or after mag-work ka? So, ito yung isi-share ko sa inyo. Before kasi, when I was starting pa sa freelance, before ako mag invoice I should make sure na natrabaho ko yung pinatrabaho ni client and then na-satisfied siya okay sa kanya yung output before ako magsasend ng invoice sa kanya na hey, ito yung babayaran mo for the service that I've rendered to you. Kasi ayaw ko yung feeling na parang fraud or parang scammer which is not a good mindset talaga. I swear. So kayong mga aspiring freelancers, kahit anong freelancer ka, social media manager ka or graphic designer, website developer or any freelance, you can ask for even just an initial payment lang kung ayaw ni client na magbigay ng full amount yet, you can ask for an initial payment kasi it will protect you para hindi ka mas scam and hindi ka tatakbuhan ni client. Ayun yung parang realization ko over time na nag-work na ako as full time talaga. Yan yung pagkakamali ko before ni even mga direct clients na kahit nag-ano kami ng contract wala talagang ano na mabayaran ka. In short, parang hindi ko siya mahabol even if nagpermahan kami ng clients because I don't want to pay for an attorney just to I know that like hey hindi ako binayaran na one hundred dollars. Yung my expense ko pa in getting an attorney just to handle that client, de ba? Is feeling ko way 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 more pa yung mabayaran ko. So parang okay charge the experience na naman. So, for you to have a double protection, the contract, and then the initial payment na hindi ka tatakasan ni client is a good way para mag-work talaga kayo. I would highly recommend na if mag-invoice ka kay client ng first time. Especially, no, if it's e-service package, maganda na i-offer mo sa kanya na mas makakatipid siya kung i-full amount niya, diretso yung babayaran niya, compare na i-installment niya until the project will be done. So, that kind of strategy para diretso na full yung bayad niya sa'yo is a good way talaga. Kung isummation mo for installment, siguro may percentage na ba dagdag, yung ganun. But if full payment niya agad, mas makakatipid siya. So, that's a good way talaga. Instead of sending the invoice after you made the service that you promised to your client, Ask a payment first, kahit percentage lang, or pwede ding half, or pwede ding full. It's up to you. Pero yun nga yung technique ko na sinabi ko na pag i-full payment niya, walang dagdag. Pero pag i-installment niya, gusto niya na stagger, depende by milestone yung ano niyo. Pwede mong dagdagan mo para mas malaki-laki yung babayaran niya. Tapos makita niya yung breakdown. Ah, pag i-monthly ko pala ganito yung ganito yung lahat yung babayaran ko. But, if babayaran ko whole quarter, ito na lang yung amount. So, parang mas maiingganyo siya ng babayaran na lang yung whole quarter compared sa parang installment every month. So, andito na tayo sa part na i-share ko sa inyo kung paano ko sinasend yung mga invoices ko sa clients ko. This is the first way that you can do it. Ito yung ginagawa ko before. First is to use the PayPal invoice. So, si PayPal, may feature talaga siya na pwede kang mag-invoice. But, na kita ko kasi na hindi talaga complete or hindi whole amount na in-invoice ko yung ma-receive ko. 
So I scrapped that. Literally before ko na to ginagawa ha, hindi na to siya ngayon. The reason na hindi ko na ginamit ang PayPal before kasi hindi whole amount yung marireceive ko. And mas bababa kasi talaga yung PayPal conversion. That's why I changed to another payment method na lang for my direct clients. The next way to invoice your client is through Payoneer Invoice. So, kung si PayPal meron siyang feature to invoice, si Payoneer then meron din siyang feature na the same kay PayPal na pwede kang maka-invoice using their own platform. As usual, the same pa rin pala na meron talagang transaction fee. I think ganyan talaga siya. I cannot remember anymore kung how much per percentage yung nakakaltas for the transaction fee. Pero in short, hindi ko talaga nakukuha yung full amount. What I like lang compared to PayPal and Payoneer is that mas mataas si Payoneer ng konti sa conversion rate compared kay PayPal. Parang naging okay na lang kasi mas mataas siya ng conversion until na-discover ko si TransferWise. Which leads me to my third suggestion kung paano ka maka-invoice kay client. So, si Wise.com or TransferWise, meron silang downloadable na document, pwedeng Word, pwedeng Excel, or pwedeng PDF. So, it's up to you kung saan yung gusto mo, you can manually edit it and send it to your client. Their template is good, very simple lang. You can use that one. All of the links, all of the ano ha, ilalagay ko lang sa baba para ma-access mo yung mga links na sinasabi ko. Pero yung ginagawa ko ngayon, I'm using TransferWise, but doon ako gumagamit ng template sa Canva. So, if you still don't have any account sa Canva, you can click the link again sa baba, create an account from there. Pero kung meron na, you can just log in directly and search invoice template. Madami doon masasuggest ng mga templates ni Canva para may use mo for your client. The reason why na mas ginagamit ko si TransferWise is that mataas yung conversion rate niya compared to Payoneer and PayPal. That's what I really like about it. And aside from that is automatic na siya na sa banko ko talaga mapapadala. So, wala nang transaction fee from another platform to my bank. Bale, diretsyo na siya sa bank ko. So, yan yung nagustuhan ko sa TransferWise. But still, you have to indicate kay client na I'm adding ganito na dollars for the transaction fee. Since hindi siya full amount na nare-receive ko yung dapat talaga na napagkasundoan natin na amount. Yung ganon. Or, the client can handle that on their end. So, ayun lang. Pro tip, kung gusto mo talaga na ma-make sure na exact amount yung ma-receive mo, always indicate kay client na magdagdag siya ng extra or nagdagdag ka ng extra sa invoice mo to make sure na the amount that you are receiving is still the same. You can still do the same naman sa PayPal but don't use the PayPal invoice. Just put your email and then tell your client na if you are going to send the payment na, please choose the send money to a family or, or to a friend, something ganon. Wag yung to send a payment for a service or a product. Para yung transaction fee is nasa end ni client and hindi nasa yo. So if you want a free invoice template from Bossup PH, please click the link below so that we can send it to you. Again, that is for free. So yeah, just message us. This is not just the only way and how you can invoice a client. There are a lot of ways. There are a lot of free templates out there in the internet. But ang sinishare ko lang sa'yo, ito yung mga na-try ko as a freelancer na gamitin. And the last one that I'm going to share is through Upwork. If you have a direct client and you want to increase the earnings of your Upwork account, pwede kang mag-invoice through Upwork. And again, just the downside of it is that meron talaga silang transaction fee na kukunin from that. Ang makakagawa or ang meron lang feature nito is yung mga rising freelancers lang and mga top rated freelancers. So, ayun lang yung downside niya. Yeah. I really hope that this video helps you because always ko talaga ito receive na question kung paano ako mag-send ng invoice. So, yeah. Before I'm going to end this video, I would like to flex the works of my bosses and bosses inside your group. Check this out! If 
you would like to join our Facebook group, just research I'm Ready to Boss Up by Brigsui. And don't forget to like our Facebook page and follow us on our Instagram accounts at Brigsui and at Boss Up PA. So yeah, hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye!